It's my last day here in Canberra after five weeks of Parliament and I'm reflecting. The most disappointing thing about this session, but indeed the last year, has been the huge missed opportunities, the wasted opportunities to keep Australians safe during a pandemic. We're an island continent. We've got every natural advantage in the world to keep a disease out, to manage our borders properly, at least until people are vaccinated. Australians, though, are now paying the price. Millions of Australians with their lives and livelihoods at risk, locked down for months because of the government's failure. It is incredibly frustrating sitting opposite these clowns day after day in Parliament, watching their spin, refusal to take responsibility, making these huge, unforgivable mistakes. But the common thread in this is the Prime Minister. It goes to leadership. He's a dangerous man. He's a cunning politician, but he's not a leader. He doesn't take responsibility. It's like he doesn't want the job. He wants to have the job, but he doesn't want to do the job. We saw it in the bushfires, his failure to meet with emergency services chiefs and do the preparation. We've seen it in the pandemic, failing to build safe quarantine, failing to order enough vaccines, unforgivable mistakes. He had two jobs and he didn't do them. We're now seeing it on JobKeeper, the biggest single rip-off of the Australian taxpayer in the history of this country, $13 billion of taxpayer money given to big companies for nothing, to increase their revenue. But it's not his responsibility. Apparently that's someone else's fault. It's just the design of the scheme, you know. Australia, I think, deserves better. It doesn't have to be like this. We can have a good government again. Now, there's rumours of an early election, but Labor will be ready to fight this election whenever it's called. I say to Scott Morrison, bring it on. But if you think our country deserves better, if you think we need a better government, then flick me an email, flick me a message. I'll put you in touch with your local Labor campaign because it's only through citizens actually getting involved that we're going to change the government and change the country for the better. Australia simply cannot afford three more years of this bloke.